Hello, my name is Eduardo and today, okay, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to add a slingshot to our Angry Birds game. We're going to use the previous game from the previous tutorials, okay? I will show you how to make this using GIMP. I will share the original fight to work, okay? Uh, the slingshot, okay? And then I will show you the procedure in GIMP and then import it to App Inventor and then we're going to modify some values, okay? To place the bird. Okay, and also to place the uh, pig, okay, over the ground. So, and this is the final thing or the final result. Okay, so let's start with the tutorial. Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with another tutorial for Happy Mentor. And well, after some time, okay, I continue with this Angry Birds or crappy Angry Birds version. Okay, so and today I'm going to add a slingshot. If you check, I also change the background, okay? But anyway, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And uh, let's start. I'm going to show you how to make your slingshot. So let's just hide this guy for a moment. Um, I'm going to share this file with you, okay? To follow this tutorial, you have to use GIMP, okay? I will be using GIMP and also the previous images from the previous tutorials, okay? So, for example, the pig or the bird. So, check the tutorial number one. Uh, I share the initial file there and you have the images. So, let's use the pig, okay? So, we have the pig. And let's just use it here as a reference. Ah, it was the bear, sorry. So, that's it. So now we are going to scale it. So, here in GIMP, if you are new to GIMP, well, you can use this, okay? So, also remember GIMP is uh, free to download. It's very powerful and very effective when you are working with your uh, apps or games. Anyway, so we are going to have it just something like this, in this proportion. I guess that would be okay. Now, in GIMP, you're going to use here this tool, okay, that it's like a, like a knife. So you select it and then you just drag the area like this, okay? Like this, like this. Don't worry about the bird right now. And that's it. So you just check the limits. So if you are okay with this, okay, so let's a little bit here. You just press enter. And that's it. Now the bird, has, well, don't worry for the bird right now. We just slice its face but we can delete it and then we are going to use another bird but i guess that's okay i will explain what's the point with this imagine that you have your bird here here you just drag it here and that's it now we want the bird okay so to give the illusion that the bird is in the middle of this slingshot. So we're going to, this is the part that it's in front of you. So we're going to use here something really, really fast is just to take this lasso tool. And you can, you can hide this guy. And let's think about, well, probably we're going to drag just a very raw shape in here. And probably this is behind the bird. We just do it like this. Change to the layer that it's the slingshot. Okay. So probably I, I cut a lot in this part though. Uh, yeah, I cut a lot. Well, anyway, I will fix it later. So then you select it and then you are going to select cut and then you paste. Then select uh, here to a new layer and then you have a new layer 
Okay, now this part goes behind the other part. Now, if you enable this, then we move the bear. The bear has to be in the middle. So now check, it is the bear. Now, when we export this, we have to export two different graphics for the slingshot. Okay, to App Inventor. Well, that's what I am planning, okay, because I haven't tried. So I hope this is going to work. So we're going to use the same side of the canvas. Okay, so we're going to export this. Export, and then we're going to go for our file, Angry Birds. And let's name this Slink Front. Oh no, it was not front, it was backward, back, back part. Well, anyway, let's do it again. Sling back. So let's go fast. Then we go for this one, unselect this, and then you just select export sling front. We just use this one. Export, replace, and let's hope this is like working. So we can have the file. Ah, yes, I, I did a mistake. Check, slim back, it was everything complete. So, because you need to hide the other parts. Sorry, you select the part that you want to export, and hide the other, uh, hide the other ones, and again, this is the back part. You just overwrite this thing or replace. And that's it. Now, if we check our files, we have these two things. Now we're ready to go to App Inventor. Okay. So this is the way this thing now looks. So let's import the graphics. So we'll go, we go to Designer. Also, and if this is the first time you are watching this video, okay, please go to the first part, okay? So I set everything in there. And you can also download the file. So now let's upload the file. We are going to slim back first. And then we are going to upload slim front. That's it. And of course, we need sprites for this. Okay, now we're going to use, in this case, uh, two different sprites. I mean, not two different, yes, here. And we are going to call it Slink front sprite then we're going to drag another one and let's call it the name sling back sprite that's it now we're going to assign the graphics for uh, for them so for a sling front sprite well we're going to use a slim front and then we're going to use slim back for the other one, the PNG. Of course, now we need to place them and scale them. So now let's go here and then we're going to return to the designer. But right now, let's scale everything. Well, you can do this manually, okay? So you can use here this thing. So let me check. I guess we're going to make it like this. I want you to see this part. So I guess yes, that's okay. We're going to use it over there.
Mm-hmm. So probably here. Let's make it small right now. And also I changed the size from the original file. Okay, so I make the bird uh, a little bit smaller. So anyway, let's move these procedures. And let's just destroy this. And as I told you, we need to add the procedure for the Slink Sprite. Okay, so let's say that this one we're going to use Z the width and the height. So now the size of this, okay, let's go to the original file because I didn't pay attention to this. Oh, but it's a problem in here. So we have 127 times 268. So probably we can scale this. Sorry for that, guys. It is good to have this kind of nice measures. If not, you're going to get your file distorted. So let's say the size. Let's keep it in 128, 256, OK? That's it. I guess that's OK. So try to use this size, okay? 128 times 256. And also, if you want, you can scale. You can use the chain here for these two graphics to scale them, okay, at the same time. And that's it. Probably we can, we are going to scale it here. Not too much. I guess that's okay. Well, a little bit more. So I am scaling this, but the container it is 120 times 56. And we're going to export again. So this is the back, export. Sling back, export, replace, export. Then we hide and I'll hide the other one, select it, export, and then this is a sling front. And we're going to replace again in App, in, uh, App Inventor or Thunkable. Okay, remember that you can follow this tutorial with Thunkable or uh, App Builder. So anyway, we're going to replace pictures again. Sorry for these guys, but it's important to have these things. <clears throat> this is for Steam Front, sorry, Steam Front. Yes, replace. And then for Slim Back, we're going to change, uh, I mean, re-upload the image. that's it so we have everything we can just refresh the screen a little bit and we are ready to start with this so i told you that we have to scale everything it is 128 okay times 256 and it's if you check if you multiply 128 times 2 it is equals to uh, 256 so the higher is two times the width. Okay, so that can help us. So let's start with uh, the width. So I want to set the width, and we're going to use this based on the canvas width, and we're going to set it to probably what about the forty? No, the five percent. Let's see how this thing looks. So let's do it using companion. Oh, that's not pretty cool. Probably, yeah. Now, hey, what is happening? Why? It's because we are just scaling the width. So we can create a mini procedure. And let's call it slingshot. Okay, uh, size and position. 
So let's insert this friend in here. Now, if you remember, as I told you, the, the height, it is two times height. It is two times the previous calculation. So we have the slingshot front, and then we're going to get the height that it's two times. I mean, the height, it's two times the width, sorry. That's it. Okay, so now, and then if we run the procedure, so let's do it manually here. Sorry for this sling, sling shot. <clears throat> What's the name? Sling shot. This one. So if we run it, we just do it, and that's it. That's the size. It looks okay. So probably more a little bit bigger, like seven percent. We just run, and that's it. Okay. So probably it's it's okay that way. Now. <clears throat> Let's place first this one, okay? So we'll have to move it in the y, y axis. So the, this is based on the height, the y axis, and the percentage. And probably here it is like, remember, down the values are like bigger. So in this case, it's like 80 and 90 percent or something, okay? So, and here we have like 0% in the Y axis. So, I want my thing to be placed. And if this is the origin in the picture, remember, it's the left, in the upper left uh, corner is the origin of the sprites. So, probably I want to place it something in here. So, probably more than like this 65%. So 0 0.65 is like 65% of the screen, 0 0.65%. So now let's run the procedure, do it, oh, almost, almost there, almost there. I guess that's okay. So, and now what about the other guy? Well, the other guy is quite the same. Okay, it has to be the same size and the same position of this. If we just calculate it with this, we just need to copy the values from this guy. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's uh, copy this. Slingshot uh, width, and let's copy the value from its causing. So we're going to take here uh, one of these. It is not heading the one that we want. We want just the width. And then we just duplicate this for the height. And we change for the height of the other one. So this is slingshot front sprite. No, slingshot back sprite and back sprite are going to copy the values from the other one. So we just drag them okay, to be resized first. <clears throat> and then for the position, we just duplicate this frame. We change to back. And then we just uh, remove this. And we just copy the value from the one that it's calculated. Sling front Y. Now, if we run the procedure, do it. It is okay. Now we need to place the X position. So for the X position, it is something similar in, in Sprite. Let's duplicate this. Let's just drag this thing. And now we change to X and to width. Zero is in here. 100% is in here. So probably it's like 10, 20, 30%. Okay, so zero times three. 30% of the screen. So let's do it. 
Oh, too much. So 0 0.15. What about 0 0.15? Let's do it. I'm just moving this one, okay? So I guess that's okay. And then <clears throat> we are going to uh, duplicate this, the back sprite X, and we copy just the value from the slingshot uh, front, okay? So then we just run the procedure, and that's it. Okay, it looks okay. Now, we need to see uh, something else. What if I move the bird? The bird is behind, it has to be in the middle. Okay, so this guy, that it's the front sprite, okay, we are going to change one of its properties, the C, okay, or Z. So here, I want it to be in front, so I'm going to increase its value. Let's say that, let's go for a higher value. I'm using just values, random values, but I'm going to make, for example, a phi, number phi. Then for the back sprite, right now it is like this because we haven't placed the procedure, okay? So well, now for the back, let's use phi for three. And for the birth, let's use something in the middle. Uh, so probably it's four. It is not five as the one that it's in front. So this is five. This is three. And the bird, it has to be. So this is five. This is three. So the bird probably could be four. I guess that's okay. We select the bird and we set its Z position to four. So now if we just go to the blocks and then this procedure, we just run it. That's it. It's in place. And if we move the bird, that's it. It is in front of this thing, but it's um, behind the one that it's in here, and it gives the illusion, okay? So that's the idea with this uh, mini thing. And we just need to insert this uh, uh, procedure with the other procedure. So we, that's why we make this mini procedure. So we can just do it here at the end of everything. We just place it here, there. So now let's see if we refresh the screen. Oops. We cannot refresh the screen, yes. So I inserted in the main procedure about resizing, okay? So that's okay. Bird looks okay. So we don't need to move the bird. Well, a little bit probably. So going forward, that would be a nice option for the bird. So we check the X position and we move it a little bit like, I guess 17% could be okay. Do it. Yes, and a little bit, a little bit upwards. So we just reduce this to 69. We just do it. I guess that's okay. Now for the base of the uh, pix, uh, uh, this block, okay. So we are going to check pick a block pix prime in y. It is seventy two. So probably we can increase this to eighty. We just do it. Too much. 75 0 0.73 
So we have to do it manually. Okay, block big sprite. And then let's just check if companion is refreshing everything. No, not really. Seventy five is over there. Zero point seventy three. Okay, probably there. And then just wait. I guess almost. So big sprite it's seventy two percent. New big block. Ah, okay, it's because here we have a procedure that it's like moving this thing. So probably not 72, probably 74. And then we just run the new peak block procedure. So let's do it here. Mm, 74 no. 75. Seventy-seven, eighty. I don't know if this is gonna work, but eighty-two percent, almost. 83 and that's it so it is 83 block let's set it this initial value to 83 so let's see what we have right now Oh, uh, okay. Then we go here, we just reset the connection, and then we just try to use this. IETN PM. So just like that sometimes at the beginning nothing happens I don't know why it is having this kind of error but well so you have over there the image and then let me use my finger to do this oh I'm terrible Yes. Ugh. Sorry. And now it's like placed. Now, just finally, to add something extra to this, uh, let's say that we have um, the pig, uh, I mean the bird, okay, moving. So let's have it over there. Now let's go for the blocks where you have your bird, okay? You have your bird that it's moving here, the velocity, the position, okay? So what about if we change a little bit something here about the bird? Let me hide just this. So let's go for block uh, bird sprite, and then we're going to check its heading thing. So 
So heading right now, it is in zero. Okay, so what if we increase this value? Okay, so we use math. We increase the current heading, birth sprite heading. plus let's say one I don't know if it's gonna work plus one okay so and then when we reset everything reset big res reset birth position we use look for this reset birth we're going to reset also its heading okay and let's set it to zero that's it. Now uh, let's see what's what we have right now. Oh, check the bird. It's also in another position. Okay. Um, I guess we have to go to this procedure where we have the bird to see more clearly, and we are going to change this to minus. Let's change it to minus three and then here we yeah here we go sorry check now the bird is like falling Ooh, I guess minus three it's okay it looks pretty good Okay, and now just the position. Remember that we need to change in the, the original position that we set uh, in the first procedure that it was this one. When we resize everything, we place the bird sprite in 17%. And when we reset, we have it in 15. So that's why it's like moving it over there. So just watch out with that. Okay, and also, the Y position it's in 69 69 so it is a little bit up that's it it looks better and I guess that's okay so now sorry because I wasn't showing you this that's it Boom. okay well I guess that's all for this part okay but I show you how to make these things there is another thing that you need to consider also try to resize your images okay so don't work with big 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 images so I can use probably uh, something like 256 but I was using 512 well in any case it's okay so I recommend you go to tiny PNG okay and you just re-upload your files in here your original files so for example i have here my working files let's use the birth this one this one and the block probably now but also the slingshot okay and also my background okay and i'm going to upload them so they are small but you can get them smaller okay and then you just re-download okay download all and you have the tiny file zip okay and this helps you a lot especially when you have lots of lots of images okay so and now we can have like optimized graphics okay so check uh, it is like a huge 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 amount okay so you just uh, extract everything and then you just re-upload all your files okay again one by one you can do this before you upload because i just did it but it, this is a good uh, practice okay so it's a great 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 thing okay that can help you uh, optimize your things okay so you just go to select and then you just look for the new uh, folder okay so in this case i have the new folder in here Oh, sorry and then you just upload these new images and it will say that yes yes replace and then you just replace the next one
and you will reduce the size of your uh, game or app okay so that's that's always a good idea okay then you just go here I just did this one I don't remember but what well, anyway I skip one just this so it's always a good idea to do that and then we just have everything ready you can just refresh the screen and there's no change in quality okay so it looks quite the same we can just make this thing bigger for you and we have finished this tutorial okay so please uh, don't worry about this uh, it looks quite messy but in the cell phone it looks good okay so it looks good so um, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to this channel my name is Eduardo and I'm really 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 happy uh, that this channel is uh, like growing okay so if you have any comments, suggestions, ideas for tutorials, please let me know them. Okay, and I will come with another Angry Bird. Okay, that is the last one of these tutorials. That it's the one that we were uh, we are going to be like using the slingshot effect. Okay, as I sh show you in other video. So <clears throat> I'm just working on that. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.